This is question number 51 of IIT JAM Economics 2021 paper. Let's see what the question is saying. It says there are two individuals. Amar has an endowment of food and water. Let's write down the endowment of Amar first. So food is two units and water is five units. Baron has an endowment of 8 and 5. Let's write down A and let's write this down by B. 8 and 5. So, this is FB and WB. What is the total amount of food available in the economy? 10. Total amount of water available in the economy? 10. So, if you ever make an Edgeworth box, which won't be required in this case, it would be a square Edgeworth box. It would be 10 cross 10 Edgeworth box, right? Okay. Now, the utility function of individual A is given by X square WA. So, utility of A is given by F square WA. And if you go ahead and take this forward, we know that the equilibrium for a well-defined utility function is where X star is M by P A PX alpha upon alpha plus beta. And Y star is M by PY alpha upon alpha plus beta. So, you know, the amount of food that A would be consuming would be his income upon the price of food. Alpha is the power of this. So, 2 upon alpha plus beta. So, alpha plus beta is 2 plus 1, which is 3. So, this will be the amount of food in his equilibrium. 2 by 3 into M by PA. Similarly, the amount of water that he will be consuming in his equilibrium will be this. M by PY. Al beta upon alpha plus beta. So, it will be M by PB. This is good, by, good B, right? Oh, no. This is how do you represent it? Write it by food. Price of food, price of water. Better way to represent. So, price of food and price of water. And let's keep the notations as is. Beta is 1. What is the power? Here, power is 1, right? So, beta is 1 upon alpha plus beta is 3. So, this will be 1 by 3 m by pw. What does this mean? This means that if I go ahead and if I draw an Edgeworth box and if I go ahead and have a budget line, then for, and this is the origin of individual A, then for individual A, his equilibrium at this point, where his budget line is tangent to the indifference curve, that equilibrium, will he will consume 2M by 3PA amount of good, uh, whatever this good is, amount of food, 3PF, amount of food and at this equilibrium he will be consuming 1 by 3 m by p w amount of whatever the other good is which is 
water. So I'm taking food here and water here. I am taking food here and water here. This is the final equilibrium of individual A. Now, individual B has his equilibrium starting from here. So, his indifference curves are like this, right? Because they are min functions. So, it has to be L-shaped curve. If I go ahead and, you know, keep drawing the indifference curve of individual B, because there is just one budget line for A and B. Budget lines are not different, right? So, his indifference curve would be tangent here. Along the line of king, this is the 45 degree line, but it has to meet the budget line also. So we know that equilibrium for, indiv for individual B will be where the amount of food that he consumes at equilibrium. We know how to find equilibrium for min functions. Whatever comes inside the min function has to be equated. So if it is, you know, if I'm writing the min function as fb comma wb then food has to be equal to water and if food is equal to water you can put it in the budget line what is the budget line price of food into the amount of food plus price of water into the amount of water is equal to m but food is equal to water so price of food into food plus price of water into food is equal to M. So you take F common. So PF plus PW is equal to M. And from here, you will get F as M upon PF plus PW, right? So we know that for a min function, the amount of food and water will be equal and it will be equal to M upon PF plus PW. This is going to happen. Now, just tell me something. If I know the amount of food that B consumes, I know the amount of food that A consumes, I can add the two together and the sum has to be equal to the total amount of food available in the economy. So the amount of food that A consumes is 2 by 3 into income of A by price of food, the amount of food that B consumes is going to be income of B upon PF plus PW. And this has to be equal to the total amount of food, which is 10 in the economy. So what I can go ahead and I can do from here is that I want to find out what will be PF by PW. This is what it is asking. What is the price ratio? Now to do that, first of all, I want some numbers for income of A and income of B. In general equilibrium model, the income of individual A will be equal to the value of the endowment that he gets in the market. So what was endowment of individual A? A was coming with two units of food and he was coming with five units of water. So his value of endowment will be two into the price of food yes, plus five units of water. So 5 into the price of water. This will be the income of individual A. Similarly, what will be the income of individual B? He is coming with 8 units of food, 5 units of water. Each unit of food is available at a price of PF. Each unit of water is available at a price of PW. So this is the income of individual B. Let's put down these values. So 2 by 3, instead of MA, I will write 2PF plus 5PW upon, I will write PF plus 8PF plus 5PW upon, we have PF by PW, PF plus PW is equal to 
content is this making sense i am just so i i know this that any well defined preference how do i get competitive equilibrium i know for any com, you know uh, any min function how do i find competitive equilibrium i know that the sum of these two things has to be equal to the total amount of food available in the economy so i can equate that i know that in general equilibrium income is equal to the value of the endowment for both the individuals i replace those and get this now if i further take this this will be 2 by 3 2 plus 5 pw by pf plus if i divide numerator and denominator by pf what will i get so i have to find pw by pf or pf by pw i have to find pf by pw right so if i find one i can just reciprocate it for the other so i will divide numerator and denominator by pf so this will be by pf and equate this to 10 so i will get this will if i open it up this is simple math 4 by 3 plus 10 by 3 pw by pf plus 8 plus 5 pw by pf upon 1 plus pw by pf is equal to 10 let's say that just to simplify i am saying let pw by pf be some a so that i can write my equation simply so this will be 4 by 3 plus 10 by 3 into a plus 8 plus 5a upon 1 plus a is equal to 10 now this will be 10a by 3 plus 8 plus 5a upon 1 plus a is equal to 10 minus 4 by 3 so i'll just take 10a 1 plus a plus 3 8 plus 5a upon 3 One plus a simple maths, okay, is equal to thirty minus four by three. So three and three will get cancelled. I will have ten a plus ten a square plus twenty four plus fifteen a is equal to twenty six one plus a. So I will get ten a plus ten a square plus twenty four plus fifteen a. Minus twenty six minus twenty six a is equal to zero. So ten a square, ten a plus fifteen a is twenty nine. Minus twenty six is three a. Plus twenty four minus twenty six is minus two equal to zero. Okay. let's just go back and see if all of these calculations are correct it will be minus a right this is 25a minus 26a minus a okay now let's take this forward so 10a square this is 10 into 2 is 20 20 is 5 into 4 so minus 5a plus 4a minus 2 is equal to 0 take 5a common from here what do you get you will get 2a minus 1 plus take 2a common from here 2 common from here what will you get 2a minus 1 equal to 0 So you will get five a plus two, two a minus one equal to zero. So your a will be minus two by five, and your a will be one by two. A cannot be negative, so a has to be one by two. What was a? A was P F by P W, isn't it? P W by P F. Sorry. So a was P W by P F. Is equal to one by two, so P F by P W would be two. So the answer to this question is two. So 
what do you have to learn in this first of all you should know how to find out equilibrium for you know any utility function competitive equilibrium for well defined competitive equilibrium is where mrs is equal to px by py your if your utility function is fa square wa so your mrs will be mu x by mu y in this case it will be mu of food by mu of water your mu of food is how utility changes when food changes how utility changes when water changes differentiate this with respect to food you will get 2 fa wa with respect to water you will get fa square so this would be 